Welcome to the STYCO stand. Um, my name's Martin, I'm the technical director of STYCO. I'm here today just to talk about an internal wall insulation system, but just to give you a bit of a background about, uh, about the company. Um, we're a German business. We manufacture wood fiber board and structural products um, in Poland and France and ship that material into the UK. Um, we are typically around about 75 to 80% um, of what we sell in the UK is structural material. Um, and around about 15% is insulation material. If we look at our German business, it's the exact opposite. The majority of what we do on the continent is insulation, the smallest part is structural. And that's because typically in Europe, they have a much more of a, uh, they lean much more towards using natural sustainable materials and specifying accordingly. In the UK, typically, it doesn't matter what material you use, so long as you achieve the performance standard. So, for example, the French will say you have to use a, a, a natural, renewable, timber-based material. Uh, UK, we don't have that same driver. So, hence, it's a much smaller industry for us in the UK, but it's, it's growing really quickly because people are really seeing the, the benefits of using natural, sustainable materials. The system here today is for internal wall insulation. Now, typically, that would be for um, external walls, which are solid um, masonry. So, standard Victorian house, no cavity, no insulation, millions of which exist in the UK, all need to be dealt with in, in some way. I heard recently that of all of the houses that will exist by 2030, 80% of those already exist and are already built. So we really need to make sure that we, we look at our existing um, buildings and insulate them and deal with them in order to you know, achieve those sort of um, carbon reducing targets that we need to reduce. Um, the system today is, um, talks about a, a relatively thin layer of wood fibre insulation on brickwork. Now, where people have traditionally been insulating existing solid walls, they've been using a, a, an, a, an insulated plasterboard approach. So it's typically plasterboard bonded to a, a, a PIR or an EPS type insulation and a dot and dab process on the wall. That works because it's relatively thin and it achieves the 0.3 U value that you need to achieve for retrofit buildings with a relatively thin insulation layer. What, what we've come to sort of see over time with people using that system is when you're installing that, you're creating a cavity between the existing wall and the insulation layer. Any warm air that gets through the insulating layer, hits the cold air surface, will condense and you'll produce liquid water. That liquid water will run down in the cavity and it will produce mold and damp problems. And that is occurring in a lot of buildings because we've been doing that for many years and it's only now that that is starting. So what's going on between the insulation and the wall, we can't see it. But eventually that's coming through the insulation and that's creating a problem. What we do with the natural insulation is that we bond the, exist we bond the, the wood fibre board to the existing wall. So we have got, um, between the existing wall and the insulation, around about 8 to 10 mil of, uh, depending on what insulation manufacturer you're using or, or what lime or clay system you're using, um, a bonding coat between the two. That bonding coat is an integral part of the system because it ensures there's no air gaps between the insulation and the existing wall. So it's impossible for liquid water to form and run down the cold wall surface. Any moisture or condensation that gets created because you're using a wood fibre approach is stored within the fabric of the insulation itself. The product can hold around about 20% of moisture by volume and it can naturally allow it to evaporate either to the outside or back to the inside. It's what is traditionally talked of as a breathable wall solution um, or diffusion open, so it allows uh, water vapour to migrate through it, which in turn ensures that the internal um, environment has low humidity, so it's a healthy internal air climate. What, what's really important to, to consider is, uh, is A, you've got the, the fixing of the boards themselves and the fixing patterns for all of that, but also where you've got connections for, so this would be like a, a, a first floor zone where you're uh, connecting into the existing wall, is that you, in, is that you remove um, decking material, you insulate between the joists, because that's a really significant cold bridge, that you seal around the joist where it penetrates the insulation, and where you're connecting around um, openings or reveals, then you have a, a, a 20 mil board, again, fixed so that you don't um, interfere with the window connection, um, and then you take that to the, to the window frame so you get air tightness around the window frame as well. We've got some guidance in terms of installation which will be on the, on the website for a new guide that we've just produced which will be on the, on the website on Monday which you can download and that runs through as well some of those sorts of questions that, that, are, that, are, or that are integral to the actual installation of the system itself.